<laughs> well, hi, everyone. Welcome to a late but powerful blitz oh. after losing its last two. The Thunder are in Portland in the final game of a four-game road trip trying to salvage a two-and-two two trip. Portland close to tanking, four-point home underdog. Oklahoma City goes in two games below 500, just a game and a half out of fifth in the West. It's a great chance, Dean, for Oklahoma City to pick up a win. Yeah, Mark Dagnall's team lackadaisical, though, knowing Portland's without four starters, including Lillard, down 12 after the first period. What you going to do? Isaiah Joe spearheads a 43-point second quarter, 14 third quarter points, four of six, up 68-62. 11-0 Blazer run. Jaden Sharp flies, but Nusser Little charges. Isaiah Joe there, the rare highlight of a charge. <laughs> up three after three, four-point game, 14 seconds. That's a steal. SGA back to Lou Gantz, who makes just two of 14 shots. But 118-112 win, an NBA best 17th time to overcome a double-digit deficit. Here's Steve. Portland playing without four starters on Sunday night, and for most of the game, you could hardly tell. Oklahoma City down the stretch gets the job done. They outscored the Blazers 22-18 in the fourth quarter, and they race out of here going 2-2 two and two on this West Coast road trip. We never panicked uh, down the stretch. You know, we, we maintained composure. And once we took control of the game, uh, you know, with a couple minutes left, I was confident in, in what our guys could do down the stretch. Uh, executed offensively, got good looks. Avoiding injuries is critical as this team tries to earn a playoff spot. Shea injuring his ankle in the second half. I rolled my ankle late in the third. Um, I was on fire at first, and then I just tried to like shake it off, play through it a little bit. My adrenaline carried me, and then as soon as I came back out, I just wanted to tape it up and keep moving so that I was good to, to finish the game. On the road with the Thunder in Portland, Steve McGeehee for the Oklahoma Ford Sports Blitz. Ooh, that didn't sound good, does it? Current standings. <laughs> Remember, top six in the playoffs. Team seven through ten in a one-game play-in game. Below that in the lottery, Denver comfortably leads. The Thunder two and a half games behind number four, Phoenix. Thunder tenth. Lakers having a tiebreaker with the same record. OKC one game ahead of 11th place, Dallas. Seven games left, four at home. Now, the mock play-in bracket put out by NBA.com has 10-seed OKC play, 9-seed Lakers, and Lakers are pretty good when mm -hmm. LeBron's not there. Mm. Winner gets oh, wow. the winner of, a, really, 7-seed uh, Pels and 8-seed T-Wolves, and that winner gets top-seed Denver in round one. So is it worth it? I mean, you lose out on the lottery where Sam Presti has excelled, losing any chance at the once-in-10-lifetimes prospect, Victor Wimbanyama, the 7-foot, 2-inch, 19-year-old wonderkin. I I'm good either way, but uh, kind of feel lucky and have no problem if OKC flops down the stretch and slides into that lottery, John. One point in your life, you were a wonderkin, too, I think, <laughs> from what I've read. <laughs>